Maruti Suzuki Wagoner ever since its introduction long time back has been a hit for Maruti Suzuki and the car is so popular that it has gone on to sell more than 2 million units in the country now after a long time the wagoner is back in a new avatar it's moved on to a new platform it gets a new larger 1.2 liter engine a brand new cabin new set of features so with all of these changes is the new wagoner which maruti suzuki claims the new big wagoner is it any better well that's what we are going to find out on the show today Now since the Wagoner is based on a new platform even the design is entirely different from the outgoing model the only similarity it retains is the fact that this again is a tall boy design now if we go deeper into the design you can see up front you've got a new set of headlamps now it's an entirely new design and it looks good you've also got this premium looking chrome insert in the grill and of course the bumper and the hood all of it is entirely new now if you talk about the side design of the wagoner it does retain the boxy appeal there is that tall boy character so all of that is still there now in terms of freshness of the design you've got this strong waistline running here the wheel arches again some interesting lines around that place and the highlight here is at the rear you can see this black cladding here Now what this does is it gives it a sort of a floating roof effect. Now this is something nice, very different from the outgoing model and this is what gives it a bit of a premium character. You also have these 14 inch wheels, no alloys, just plain wheel covers and if you move over to the rear, you get a new set of tail lamps, it's a vertical stack which is the in thing these days. It might not be an exciting car to look at but yes it is better than the older wagoner now considering the wagoner is positioned as a practical and a family oriented car it is extremely important to have good amount of boot space there is practically a lot of space and we have been able to fit in a lot of stuff in this boot earlier so if you are someone who has a nuclear family it will be very easy to plonk in all of your weekend getaway stuff and i'm sure you still have some space to spare with the only thing which i feel could have been a little better is that the loading lip point is a bit high so if you are to be placing those heavy bags up here that can be a bit inconvenient but apart from that if you look at the boot in terms of the design in terms of the space it is a massive improvement over the old model Now one of the biggest changes in the new Wagoner is in the area of powertrain. Now while the Wagoner continues to be sold with the 1 liter engine that has been on the car for years, the introduction of a 1.2 liter engine is what spices up things. Wagoner was earlier a car that you could just go around for your city runabouts. Now with the 1.2 liter engine you can actually take out the car on highway and it does not feel out of its element there. Now this engine develops a peak power of about 81 horsepower which when you combine it onto a vehicle that weighs just under 850 kg you get a very healthy power to weight ratio. Now as a result of that acceleration is brisk and overtaking is a lot easier than earlier. Now the 5 speed manual transmission is paired to the engine quite nicely. The ratios are well sorted and as a result of that drivability is quite nice in the car. So managing traffic, managing highway, well none of it is a problem at all. Now in terms of transmission again the biggest change here is the introduction of AGS, the AMT transmission. So this is the version that we are driving right now and Maruti Suzuki was the first company to launch the AMT technology in the Indian car market and hence it has had the maximum time to refine this technology now like all AMT it does have some lag and you can feel the waiting in between the shifts but the shift shock is quite less than some of the other cars on sale today in this price bracket and the fact that an AGS an automatic transmission for a car like Wagoner which is primarily aimed at urban usage well it just makes it so much more convenient to drive on a daily basis in terms of ride quality well the Wagoner offers very good ride quality it's neither on the stiffer side nor uh, very soft 
So what you get is something that will keep you comfortable over most undulations that you will encounter. And in terms of handling, well, it does the job. It is fine. It uh, is not some a car that you can throw around corners. But yes, your daily runs, the highway runs uh, on that, the car does not feel uncomfortable. Now, one important factor for many Wagner buyers is fuel efficiency and well for the AGS model that we are driving now with the 1.2 litre engine the claim fuel efficiency is 21.5 kilometers to a litre that it's the same for the manual variant as well and we've been driving this car primarily in highway the only city run we have done is getting out of Udaipur and the average fuel efficiency that I have been getting up till now is a staggering 19.1 kilometers to a litre. Now being an all new car, it gets an all new cabin, it gets a brand new dashboard and the good thing is it gets a dual tone color dashboard so you have a top black part and a lighter lower part. You also have these aluminum finish inserts around the air conditioning vents, gives it a bit of a premium feel and of course if you talk about the center console again you get it in a matte black finish. The plastic quality is definitely better than the outgoing model but I wouldn't say it is the best in the segment but yes it is good and better than the older model. Now the highlight of the cabin is the new infotainment system here. Now this is a 17.78 cm color touch screen and it is not the same screen that you see in other Maruti Suzuki cars. It is a different unit and it gets a different interface too. It's a bit more colorful, a bit more lively. What you get here is definitely a good amount of features. You get your Bluetooth, USB connectivity, aux in, all of that's there. Maruti Suzuki has introduced Smart Play Studio in this. Now what this does is it gives you access to a different set of digital features including AHA which is a digital radio. And of course if you pair all of this with the interface, it's easy to use, it's easy to read and definitely the response again in terms of touch is very good. Now talking about the storage space, again as you would expect it in a Wagoner, it has been integrated smartly. So here in the center console you have enough space to put in your wallet or your smartphone easily and of course you have place here to put in a water bottle or some other stuff and you also have a good tray here under the co-passenger seat. Again it says a capacity of 1 kg so you can put in some of your daily shopping stuff here and you have this glove box again quite spacious so it's not just enough for papers you can put in a lot more stuff and if you talk about the door pockets again you can easily place water bottles on either sides and you will still have space to put in a little more stuff now coming to the rear space of the new Wagoner well this is a great place to be if you compare it to the older model the space has increased with the change in platform so the dimensions have grown in all aspects and as a result of that you get a lot of space at the rear seat. Now in terms of legroom you can see there's a lot of it. The driver seat is adjusted to my driving preference, 5 feet 8 inches for reference and just look at the amount of space I have to spare. So if you are someone who is even 6 feet tall and you're going to be chauffeur driven or you're going to sit at the rear seat, legroom is not going to be a problem. I don't even need to mention, it's a tall boy, headroom is definitely not going to be a problem for people even who are 6 feet or 6 feet 1 or 2 inches tall. The space is not only the best in its segment right now, but it is more than some of the subcompact sedans and some of the much more premium hatchbacks on sale. So in terms of space, the Wagoner is a champion and definitely a winner in this segment. What could have been a little better is that the under thigh support on the bench is not as much as I would have liked it. Well, it's not uncomfortable and most people will find it to be comfortable. But yes, someone who's tall might find the lack of proper under thigh support to be a bit of a botheration, maybe only on long drives. But apart from that, well, there is not much to complain about. If you talk about competition, the Santro was launched last year and that set a new benchmark but the new Wagon R has again matched it and is one of the best buys in the segment. It now comes with the added convenience of an AMT gearbox and a much more powerful 1.2 litre petrol engine as well. 
So it pretty much checks all the boxes. It gets better safety. It gets more space, new features, and an updated styling. So add all of that and couple it with the comparative price range of rupees 4.2 to 5.7 lakh for the top variant. And what you get is a great value for money car. And the Maruti Suzuki Wagon R, which has always been such a successful car for the company, has just ensured that it will continue to rule the segment.